Bill Hensaw here again with friendly local constitutional coop in California. And the subject for this video is the World Health Organization. And the attempt for them to go after quote unquote anti vaxxers, which is what I am and what you sure as hell should be too, especially with this COVID nonsense. Uh, but this goes back a long way uh, for me, all the way back to second grade. And it wasn't bad at that, that immediate moment in time, at least around Washington, D.C., but the polio vaccination that I got when I was seven years old. And I survived it, but they've gotten a lot more effective with this now and be able to do a lot of things, technology being what it is today. And my reply is, well, you know, if I'm not sick, I don't need any medication or vaccination for anything. And luckily, I've been gifted with great health my entire life. And I'm thankful for that every day. You know, plus my God-given ability uh, that I have in the area of constitutional law, as you'll find from listening to my videos and studying my documents and things. By the way, in the latter regard, send me an email, uwinningcourt at gmail.com to learn how to acquire my constitutional defense document package. Uh, we have a lot of affirmative defenses here, and at least uh, the justices on the U.S. Supreme Court know this now, know it very well, and I believe they're going to have our backs. And they just came down, by the way, and we'll talk more about this in another video, uh, a couple of days ago uh, with Clarence Thomas, uh, you know, talking about interstate commerce and about limits on federal power and Brown versus Board of Education. And he did this almost 70 years to the day after the Brown decision. And he challenged it in no uncertain terms. And if you can read between the lines, and yes, I can do that very well with all the decades I have been in this, I know what he's really saying, and this is exciting. We'll be talking more about that in another video. But send me an email, by the way, court at gmail.com for more information. And, you know, the court has gone a long way and they're about to announce the case, I think, tomorrow, which is Monday, June the 9th. And my gosh, I'm, I, I was surprised because the case is called SEC versus Jarkizi out of the Texas, the Fifth Circuit. And the Fifth Circuit threw the SEC out on the street and the Supreme Court had no reason to let them come in there. But they're going to do the same thing at in stage. But enough of this crap already. And that opinion could go a lot further than I thought it would, because that was argued around Thanksgiving. And I thought, well, March or April, trying to get a unanimous opinion, like they did in the Axon case from the last term of the court. You'll learn more about that one, too. That's a real beauty when you read this one. Uh, so send me an email. You went in court at gmail.com. And that was unanimous. Whether it's our case, will be, I don't know. But Elena Kagan isn't going to write the opinion in this case like it looks like she did in the Axon case. It's going to be written by Thomas or Gorsuch, I think. And much plainer and explain to the American people what's really going on here with this de facto government we have and why you should want to avoid it at almost all costs. So, you know, that said, it just gets more interesting and more interesting. And with what they can do with creation of viruses and, and things like this these days. My goodness, and it all goes back to a guy that a lot of you haven't heard of named Joseph Mengele. And goddamn Nazi doctors back in the day when Hitler was in power that did all kinds of experimentation on the Jews and captivity and this and the other. It's a long story. I'll do a video on it later. But he's the one that was the primary mover uh, in, in medical BS like this. And we don't need any of it. As you'll learn from getting my materials, but send me an email, you went in court at gmail.com. And we can go from there and we get the full story here. And they know it. And to the Anthony Thatchies of the world, eight, Sayonara. Mind your own business. Leave us alone. You're working for the federal government in any event to which we are not subject. Well, that said, send me an email, you went in court at gmail.com. Tell your friends, get the word out. The quicker we take action, especially in areas like this, and you protect yourselves, your children, and your posterity. 
the quicker we put them out of business and the better. So remember to subscribe, tell your friends, get the word out. The quicker we act, the quicker we get rid of the problems. Thank you.